AppCommerce is an API-based integration for WooCommerce for AppPressor apps. So I want to show you how it works and with things that you should be aware of and how to customize it and things like that. I'm not going to actually go through the grainy details of how to set everything up. We're going to do that in a different video. This is kind of more of an overview. So you can see in my app customizer here this is kinda of what a finished app looks like and it is pulling in products from my store and I can click on these products sorry that you don't have a more a larger view here my viewport is kinda of small but uh, you can see that you can you know add and decrease quantity you can add things to your cart and you'll see that the number of things in my cart increases you can also add things to a wish list uh, you can see related products down here and if there were reviews you would also see reviews um, and we do actually have a we will show star ratings on some of the products which let me move this up so that you can see that if I can okay it's kinda hard to see but um, if I click into this you'll see we have star ratings and then if there are reviews it will show those as well so uh, I guess let me show the cart page as well. When you have items in your cart, it's going to show you what's there, allow you to clear cart, and go to checkout. You can add some related products. Uh, you can show the wish list page is where your uh, products show up that you've added to your wish list, and you can add those to your cart or remove them there. This is all saved offline, which is kind of cool. And you can have other pages that show deals or uh, categories or certain products basically whatever you want so it's in uh, let me just click real quick on so you can see how the category pages work if I were to show just a certain category like hoodies um, you know I could display those here and I can also search for something uh, something like hoodie and then it'll uh, you know show those up there so this is all API based, which is which is great for speed and performance. Um, it has a, a few trade offs that you should be aware of. When we go to these pages, these are not actually displaying pages from your WordPress site. These are uh, hard coded into the app and they are displaying using only API data. So uh, customizations that you have with your theme are not going to show up and custom plugins that you integrate for shop cart or single product pages are not going to show up either without uh, you know some type of custom coding on your end. Um, so for example, this is a single product page. Uh, you'll see that um, you know it just has these kind of set elements there. If you had a, a plugin that did something like added a social sharing button or like a special reviews plugin that wasn't uh, in the WooCommerce API, you know that's not going to be supported. So basically we're going to only support things that are in the WooCommerce REST API. And if you want to look up how that works, you can um, just Google WooCommerce REST API and kind of read through that in their documentation. Um, the one thing that does that does uh, show your website is the checkout page. So if I were to click this checkout button um, in the app itself, it's going to overlay a modal window that goes to your website. When I click on it in the in the browser preview right here, it's just going to redirect me to my website. Um, so, but you'll see we just go to the checkout page. We have our items in our cart, and in this case, I'm using our WooCommerce Smart Checkout plugin because it's got a great mobile experience. Um, you can actually customize this page uh, just for the app, so uh, it can be different than what's on your normal website or even on your mobile website. You can do things like you could remove this header and all these links because you won't need those in the app and kind of just display this checkout form. Um, but the reason why we go out to your site is because that way your payment gateways work, your um, shipping plugins and tax plugins and coupons and all that kind of stuff work. Um, you know, things like payment gateways are not supported through the WooCommerce API, so we have to check out on your website. Um, and this just makes sure that everything works and it goes through your site as planned. And when people are finished with checkout, they are redirected to their account page and it shows their order details right here. I'm not actually logged in with an account right now, but it would show their, like, say, thank you and here's your order details. And they can also see their order history. Um, so, uh, if, if there's anything in the app that needs to, that, that doesn't work, um, 
then you can link up to your website to do it. So for example, custom account configuration plugins or something, you can just add a link to their account page um, on your website and they can still do that stuff, you know, without leaving the app at least. So uh, the, it's it's a bit of a trade-off. It's just, uh, you know, the speed and performance, I think you're going to love, your customers are going to love it. Um, it's just important to know that the customizations are a bit more limited than what you would actually do on your website. Um, as far as customization, the way it works is through mostly through uh, the pages that you create. So when you're creating your shop page, this is similar to how you create pages on your uh, on your WordPress site, you would create a shop page, give it the shop component, and then add the, um, we have like, these are short code, they're similar to short codes, um, like in WooCommerce, how you have like your, your cart page and your um, store page and things like that. So this is the same idea, and it allows you to customize the what you're displaying. So you can, um, for instance, display categories, which is what I'm doing um, here, this top slider. You'll see that it's showing my categories, and the this is the code that actually displays it. Um, and then underneath that, I have my products, and this is the code that is the short code, or we call it a component, that's displaying that. And you can customize it. You can give it, make it a couple columns. You can make it a normal list view. You can do infinite scroll, things like that. That's all in our documentation of how to do that. So uh, you create those pages for shop, cart, and account, and you can create extra ones like for your deals, your whistle, wish list, things like that. And then, um, and then the way that you customize those is through uh, either changing the parameters that you display on those, and you can use custom HTML on those pages and add, you know, images and headings and things like that, and kind of move the layout around as you wish. And then you can also use custom CSS. So for example, I have uh, made this app a dark color and um, I used a, our color pickers and then I also used a little bit of custom CSS here, but you can see, um, you know, like if I were to change that to red, I can do that. Um, and you can kind of do whatever colors you want here. And then that, that goes for all the pages. You can change the way that things are displayed and you know, how big the images are, or whatever it is that you want to do. So uh, when you go to the checkout page, that's in WordPress, the rest is in the app, and it's important to know that. So that's it for this video. To learn how to set everything up and for more advanced customization, please check out our documentation.